What up, what up? Gons here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own drum kit using your own samples. I get this question all the time, and so I figured I would just kind of do an update from our newest um, versions of Serato here in the 2025. And so uh, let's just get right into it. So I already have a couple of like pre-made drum kits. So one thing that will happen when you do this is first you would go to the add drums section here, click on that, and you're going to get everything kind of grayed out. Now, one thing you can do is if you downloaded some of the Serato packs, you will have this little symbol right here. And of course that pops up. And what this signifies, it is an entire kit. So say I drag this in over here. Now that whole thing is that kit itself. So I can trigger it how I need to. Now I'm going to start this fresh because this is the issue that I always see people do. And I get it. I can see why this could be a problem. So I'm going to go add drums. You're going to take one, say one sample. I'm just going to go into a folder that I have. Let's do this one here. I got this snare. Now you're, you would presume to like drag the snare here and it would fall into a bank. But when you do that, this happens. It just creates a sample deck. And I get this, again, I get this question all the time about this issue. So um, I would like them to, you know, fix that where you could um, drop each sample here and it would, it would reflect as opposed to turning it into um, a sample. So what you're supposed to do is take this, take whatever sample you want and you drag it to this side and you're going to see it highlight wherever you're going to drop it into. So say we have that snare and I'm just going to just put a bunch of stuff in here. A couple hi-hats, this, this, you could put, you could put anything. It doesn't have to be like a drum sound. Let's put that in there like that. Bass. Just picking stuff here. Ideally, you want to have one shots, which you're going for. Put that kick here. Put that there. Put that there. And then we'll do some other snares already made that one put that one there put the one there which is the exact same one that i just put the, there we go cool we got that um let's find a clap here put one there let's put a sound effect why not i'll put that in there it's my OCD wanted to uh, complete this whole thing here. Uh, let's see if there's a Tom. Nope, not a Tom in there. Let's do percussion. There we go. Beautiful. So now we have a whole kit. So see how everything's lit up over here. So now we can, you know, sequence it. And then make our little beat. Super basic. So we have all that. So what you can do now is rename it. I'm just going to call this test drum kit 2025. So from there, what you would do is go to the top and you can't see that too well. Let me see if I can fix this. Sorry guys. Try not to cut this out. At the top, you're going to have a files. To the right of that is going to be edit. And then to the right of that is going to be create. So what you're going to do is you want to create a deck preset. So you're going to do that. So now in your save deck preset, in your drums area, there is the new drum kit. So if you wanted to filter this, I moved the added over. So if you have quite a few, you can click on added and it'll 
sorted out by the most recent to the earlier versions of stuff or vice versa. Your most um, or your last ones all the way up to now. So we'll go here. So now if I delete this here, all I have to do now is just drag this here and now they're all there. So forgot to make this kind of a refresher kind of video um, from a couple years back because um, I think so a couple things have changed on here and I wanted to help you guys out. So as always, you guys have fun creating your drum decks and um, keep, keep on creating. Peace out, everybody.